You going? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, everybody needed a break for a second, so cut the other video. Not shorter than I thought it would be. It ended up being like 40 minutes long. I thought it was like 15 minutes long. But anyways, just going to go ahead and do uh, another video for the actual fleshing process itself. I haven't done anything else to this hide. No trimming, no punching holes, none of that. Just uh, finished lacing it in the frame, tighten the ropes. I did have to spin it around. I wasn't thinking when I had it laid out. It was backwards for me. I'm left-handed, so I'm going to work left to right. Uh, and it was facing the opposite direction. Stood it up against the wall. Uh, and it tried to fall on me, which I should have known better because this is that and the condition of the floor right now is uh, it's probably pretty obvious is why I don't like working these things in my shop. This is the first time I've had a metal frame in here with a wet hide. So it just, as soon as you stand it up, tries to slip out from underneath you. So I had to put a 170 pound paperweight there to, uh, to keep it from doing that. With my bigger frames, my old wooden frames, I actually have a series of holes drilled in the floor. And when the weather's bad or it's been raining for forever, uh, and I have to work hides in here. I can actually lean the frame against the wall and I just put long uh, bladed screwdrivers in those holes and that way the frame can rest against it and not not come out from underneath me. What I'm going to try to do with this is I'm this is the exact way in my opinion they used to flesh old hides or hides in the old days. It's just that the hides would have been staked out on the ground with wooden stakes and the women would be leaning over it and chipping this stuff off. Uh, this is, I mean, it's its the exact replication of one of the tools they'd be using. I like to call them gun barrel fleshers, but you can call them whatever you want to. It's just, uh, this is actually an old octagon to round uh, smooth bore musket barrel, you know. A lot of them were made out of trade gun barrels and things like that, but they would what they would do is they'd literally just hammer the end flat in sort of a rough chisel shape. And actually the I started using these and I couldn't get the the shape of the bit, the working end, right. Uh, it doesn't really look like it would be that critical and maybe it's not, but it seems to be to me. And this specific one uh, and the one I used prior to this on probably 75 hides was based on, off of a caribou leg bone that was found up in the Yukon somewhere. It's like 12, 14,000 years old. So I had, I mean, I literally used a dinner fork at one time. I used all kinds of different versions of this trying to get the use and and technique down with one of these things uh couldn't get it figured out and finally i saw that leg bone and and basically duplicated that in a in a version that's you know super common throughout the historic period so uh there again just old gun barrel flattened out i've done probably 50 hides with this i've never had to do anything to it it's a zero maintenance type of deal it's not sharp it's not sharp at all it's just the, i don't know if you can see the teeth but it's not sharp, but there's thinner areas of the hide that if you were to slam it directly into the hide, you could theoretically poke a hole, uh, but it's it's pretty idiot proof. It's just, uh, you just gotta figure out the process of getting behind the membrane and all the fat, meat, connective tissue, because what you're trying to do is literally separate that stuff from the hide itself that we're gonna wanna tan. Lots of the hide, of course it's gonna rot if you don't get all the fat and meat and blood and all that off of it, Lots of the hide will tan with a little bit of membrane on it. Some of it will tan with quite a bit of membrane on it. But there's also a lot of areas that it will not soften if you don't get the membrane off. And a lot of, the, some of the old accounts, it's kind of funny, I read it 